Okay, so I had trouble putting this up because I realized that logarithms are not the way I was taught, or their importance is really not as important as when I went to school. So let's just talk about, um, first of all, um, let's just talk about, well, first let's start with the graph of log. Well, we, we said that you learned, so when we did logarithm, remember, we had y equals to y equals to the x, and then the idea was we found the inverse, right? And so it was x equals to the y, and we had trouble, we needed a technique to rewrite this, so we came up with this idea of logarithms. But, you know, so this secretly is, but this is the inverse function, and you learn stuff in transformations. So you were told when you reflect a, po a point over the line, you switch the x and y. So when you when we switch the x and y to get the inverse, we created an inverse function. So we can, from that, we can figure out what the log graph looks like. So I can make my own graph, I can make a sketch here, right? And I know that um, I have an asymptote here. Let's talk about, let's uh, use green. Let's see if the green works. Yeah, let's use green. So we, have, we know that we have an asymptote, right? And we know that the graph passes through 0, 1. And so it looks something like this. Okay, and now the idea with the um, inverse function, the, the idea with the inverse function is um, that, you know, the x and the y change, so let's use purple for this. Okay, so we know that if, you know, so the idea was that we were, we found the inverse by, by switching the x and y, which was like an x and y, when you switch the x and y, it's like reflecting over the line y equals x. You learn that in transformations. So obviously this is a horrible graph, but whatever, we're gonna, we're gonna go with it. So this is the line y equals x, and we're going to reflect the points over the line y equals x to get the inverse function. So if this is zero, one, this is one zero. Um, if the asymptote for y equals two to the x is y equals zero, then the asymptote for the inverse is x equals zero. And once again, it's a reflection over the line y equals x, so the image, the image of the inverse looks like that. There's a problem here, okay? You're not supposed to graph the inverse on the same graph as its, as its function. So this is, for reasons I'm not gonna get into, this is not how we have to leave it. It's more appropriate to write, this is, this is the function, so this is x, y. This is the, the original function. y equals 2 to the x. And then the inverse, we draw it on a separate graph. So this technically is like y. No, it's the new x. It's the, it's the new domain and the new range. And Once again, you, it's really not appropriate to draw a function of the inverse on the same graph. If you, if you think about it, the, the, the domain and the range switch. So if I put my purple on this graph, this is not the x's that are going into the purple. It, it's confusing, but once again, it's this is a little thing. Once again, this is the function, this is the inverse. And this x is not the same as this. This domain is the, is the range, if you think, because we switch it. Anyway, this is what the two graphs look like, and then you could apply all the different transformation ashes. So we kind of skip 2D, but that's what's going on when they ask you. If you, if you want to know what the graphs look like, you know, put it in decimals or put it in your GDC to look at it. But this is what's going on. This is y equals 2 to the x. This is the inverse, the logarithm. Okay, that's, I'll put another video, but once again, yeah, okay.